Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am so excited to review the Upper Baby Vista 2017. This color is in Loic and I love it. Um, it was a little scary to go for a white creamy color, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> um, this particular design came with the leather handlebars, but they are removable as far as um, if you don't want leather on your stroller, you can unzip it and take the leather off. Or if you maybe have um, an Appa Baby stroller and you don't have the leather, you can buy it separately. So one of my exciting um, exterior features was the leather and how it wears with time and it just gets more beautiful. Um, so I was really excited about that and I love the coloring. Um, so I'm gonna go into the things I love about it um, some of the pros and some of the cons, things that we didn't realize about the Upper Baby, um, just to kind of give you a heads up if you're looking into buying it. But overall, we adore this stroller. We've had it about two weeks, so I'm gonna give you some input. Um, if you're interested, please keep watching. So right now, the stroller is done up um, as a double. You need the Upper Baby um, upper adapters and you need the lower adapters in order to make this, <laughs> this happen. But basically when you get an Appa Baby Vista, you, this is everything you get besides the adapters. So if you take away the adapters that I had to buy separately, you would have the base, the toddler seat, and the bassinet. But you could only use either the bassinet or you could use the toddler seat. One of the cons, I'll just go ahead and go into one of the cons of this stroller. Um, is that this is the only configuration you can do as far as um, the, up, the upper adapters and the lower adapters. Um, you, in order to have the bassinet closer to you, for instance, my son, he will be here in a few months. Um, I'm about seven months pregnant now, so um, we're getting excited about that. And obviously the thing I would like is for him to be closer to me and Mila, who is now older, to be on the bottom but the problem is that won't work um, there is another seat that you need to purchase and it's called the rumble seat and it's a little bit smaller than the toddler seat that comes with the stroller and that will fit perfectly on the bottom while you put the, pa the bassinet on the top whereas you cannot put the toddler seat on the bottom so there isn't any way that this will fit down here with the bassinet on the top. So that was something we were not expecting. This is the only configuration besides the fact that I could face them outward if I wanted to, or I could just face her, I could face Mila towards my son. So if I wanted to do that, um, anything that you wanna remove or you wanna change or alternate, it's gonna have a gray button. This one is, this one happens to look more silver, but for the most part, they're all gray buttons. So it's very easy to work and very easy to figure out. So you would just push down on the sides and lift up, and then you can turn it around. And right now, it'll show a red button, and when I click it into place, it's green. It would be a little problematic um, even having it this way because of how long this toddler seat is, um, having it face him because the, the footrest would be in his face. So, <laughs> and it would still be hard for me to see. I can't, um, it'll be hard to look past the footrest. Other than this being an issue, there aren't too many other problems that we've come across. You do have to get adapters for a car seat. Um, pretty much what we've decided is we're just gonna buy the rumble seat. I think it retails for 175, I'm not sure. Um, I can link it below if you're interested to know. Um, but we are figuring we'll just get the rumble seat. So we can put the rumble seat down where Mila can sit. Again, the rumble seat looks just like this, except it's smaller. And then the bassinet can go on the top. Um, first of all, I love the stroller because I love the way that um, on the back here, there's this gray button and when you push it, you can adjust the baby or your toddler <laughs> and let your toddler lay down flat and then you can just move the um, footrest. 
so she can relax and sleep. Um, I think that's an awesome feature. So I love the baby bar right here that goes in the front. Um, Mila loves this thing. I think she feels like she's on a ride. <laughs> so we keep this on. You can remove this, but uh, it's so much fun and that leather is so pretty. Um, it's easy to remove, so it's easy to get her in and out. All you got to do is press a little gray button that's right here. You pull and it's it'll stay attached over on the side and you just get her in and out of the car pretty easily. So it's fairly simple how to use. Um, inside you have a five point harness, which is really nice. Um, so baby is super secure and safe. The fabric is really comfortable. The visor is awesome and it has an extender underneath it. So it goes even further down. Um, and then what's also nice is that instead of having say um, Velcro here, which is what we have on our City Select, um, this is a magnet, so super quiet when baby is asleep and you want to check on the baby, um, you can just roll this up and attach it and you're good to go and you're able to look at the baby. I'm going to adjust this so you can see. And um, you can also adjust the height of the handlebars, so I'm just going to push that down. So this is mesh, you'll be able to take a peek, make sure baby's okay, even though she's facing the other way. Um, and it's super silent again, and then you can just release and it falls right back down into place. So I love this feature. I'm really short. <laughs> this is higher up, but this isn't how high, if you want to do it as just a single stroller, it is great. Um, it is not this high when you set it up as a single stroller. So I'm gonna show you that as well. And then I'm gonna show you the bassinet to just show you some different options of how it looks. So I'm just gonna press, take this out. And I want to show you how you install the adapters as I'm pretty much taking it apart. Um, so with the upper adapters, they are so simple, so easy to use. Um, you're just gonna press, again, anything that's gray is gonna be the buttons that you press to remove applicators, to adjust. Um, and what's nice is they're color coordinated. So this one has an orange dot, and then on the base of the stroller, there's an orange dot. On this side, there's blue, a blue dot and a blue um, dot on the stroller. So you're able to see which side goes into which. So I'm just gonna press and I lift up. That's how easy it is to install. And the same thing with this side. And I'll show you those dots. Down at the bottom here is the bassinet. It's attached with the lower adapters. So I'm gonna show you that before I get into explaining all the features of the bassinet. So to remove the bassinet, you can pull this top up. Let me move the camera up just a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to push and slide and bring it back right up. And it's really simple. Um, these are the lower adapters. They're a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna show you how to disassemble them, um, which would be the same as assembling them. So again, you have the orange dot and orange on the actual um, applicator. So I'm just going to lift this flap right here. Pull. And then I'm gonna slide off. Easy as that. So you can see um, it does snap back into place when the lower adapter is in place. But to make it easier to remove it, I'm just gonna snap that off. You can see my blue dot. Hopefully you can see that. And then there's a blue dot here. So I know that everything is on the correct side. I'm gonna lift up. Take that down, push off, and then I slide it out. While we're here, you can see how big the basket is. This was a huge selling point for me. 
I had a hard time with my city select. I didn't have enough room underneath. It was always complicated. So this one is ginormous. I don't know if you can tell um, just from the video, but you can press it down to more easily get your diaper bag, your baby carrier. Um, we usually have like a little bag cooler of treats in here and we still have room with all of that. Um, it's also nice because you have a bigger pocket right here and then a bottle pocket here. So if you wanna go ahead and like keep a water bottle here or a couple snacks that's on hand, really perfect for that. Again, while we're down here, I wanna show you this button here and it's a kick button. So right now it's green, which means I am free to stroll. <laughs> I'm gonna press it, which usually you would press with your foot and it turns red. So it locks into place. The inside of the bassinet is absolutely gorgeous and super soft. All the material is ventilated and breathable. So you have that going for you, which is always scary with bassinets. This can come off completely. If you look on the inside, you can see where it's ventilated, which is awesome um, and more breathable for, for a baby. You can also get a stand um, from up a baby that this slides directly into so they can sleep in it at night because it is certified for babies to sleep in at night. So that is a peace of mind for a mommy. <laughs> Again, you have the extra shield, which I think is really nice. I love having that. Um, you can push it right back and you can see where it's all, again, it's all ventilated all through here. And then if you press the two side buttons, down goes the top. For the price, I think this is a great stroller. Um, I think it's a lightweight double stroller, so nice. Um, once I eventually get the rumble seat, when you face both of the rumble seats outward, you can actually fold this all the way up. So you don't have to worry about taking out a seat and folding it up. Um, I don't have the rumble seat with me right now, but just for future reference, if you're wondering. So this would be a really cheap option, say that you're having a second baby and you already have all of this. All you'd have to get is that rumble seat and a couple adapters. Adapters go for about $19.99. They're more expensive if you're wanting to put your car seat into the stroller, um, which we did do with Melania with the City Select. Um, it's gonna cost maybe around like 40 to $50 for those adapters. But if you got the Mesa, which is their car seat, it would snap right into their adapter. To end, I just wanna show you how easy it is to fold the stroller up. This is how we're using it right now for Mila. It is perfect, I love it. Um, she loves it, like I said. Um, also, there's a zipper back here. I didn't mention that, but, which I thought was interesting. It's just a small pocket. It only fits like my hand down. So I honestly don't know what it's for. <laughs> I'm assuming maybe you could put a phone in there or like if you had a card holder with all your cards, maybe you could put it in there, but there's that too. So I just have it facing out for now. Um, I'm going to grab the handlebar and put it at my husband's height. <laughs> which is a lot larger. So you're gonna pull on these gray sides here. They're on both sides. Remember, I pulled this all the way up. And I did that because, let me bring this over, there are bumpers right here. These catch the ground, so your handlebars and this handle does not catch the ground. I thought that was genius. So in order for that to happen, you have to have it all the way up. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull it down, and it catches, you see how it's stood on its own? I pull it in and it snaps into place. And then to make it easier to pack up into the car, I just push the buttons on the side for that footrest, and I put it all the way down in, and it's easy. And then it's easy to just pick up and put in the car. To unfold the stroller, you're just, again, going to make sure you unlock here 
and then I'm going to push those same applicators up. And there you have it from someone who's seven months. So that's the Abba Baby Vista. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was understandable and it made sense. This is an easy user-friendly stroller from a single to a double. We love it so much. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Please comment below what your favorite part of it was. Love you guys. Bye.